What is up guys, Smooth here, back with another 07 Skate video. Now continuing off from my last video, I had just gotten a D semi, so I wanted to get some strength training done. So as you can see over here, I'm back at the Chaos Druids, and I was here for a pretty long while, and uh, I ran into a friend, as you can see in the chat box below, and it was actually kind of funny, because I was just going back to the uh, to the bank to put away all my herbs and stuff, and when I came back, he had gotten a couple kills, so it almost seemed as if I was crashing him. But when we both were inside there for a second, he uh, knew who I was, and I knew who he was, and he was really nice about it. He basically let me have the world and hopped over. So, um, yeah, if you see him or see him around, or if you want to comment on the next video, just write Smoothscape Hearts Lithuania. <laughs> um, anyway, I ended up doing a little bit of training over here, so I got from level 40 to 50 strength, and then that was about all for the day. After a little while, I decided to take a break from doing Chaos Druid since I'd been there for so long, because doing the same thing can kind of get boring and repetitive, and I wanted to make sure that since I'm you know, back in this new game, I wanted to enjoy it and not grind anything out. So I looked at my bank and I saw that I had around 1,500 herbs banked, and I wanted to get some herb lore experience uh, out of the way because I had only level 9 and that was all through quests. So I had about 400 or 300 guams or so, and you can see over here that I'm just cleaning them and making some attack potions. And that brought me up to level 19, and I didn't want to use any more because I probably wanted to sell some of these as units because it's probably a lot more profitable that way. And I was looking around for limpwurts, and there was pretty much nothing on the forum, so I went over to uh, the Edgeville Dungeon to see if anybody was over there, because World 2, everybody was gouging the prices like crazy. So yeah, I went over there, and right before doing so, I actually stopped by the Slayer Master, and he gave me a task of Hill Giants, ironically. And I was like, alright, cool, so maybe I'll just kill them and get, them, uh, and get some uh, limps instead. So while I was down there, I decided to just complete the Slayer task, and that's kind of how I began Slayer. After finishing off the Hill Giants task, I completely forgot about doing Herb Lore, and I was kind of just in the mood to slay, so I went back to Vanaka, and he gave me the task Otherworldly Beings. This task just sucks. There's nothing really much to say about it. It's just a terrible task. I don't like it at all. Whenever you attack one of these things, they run away, and you have to safe spot them, because they actually do hit pretty hard. And it takes a lot of runes. I think I used a thousand Chaos runes or so just to finish off the task. So it is pretty expensive, although I did gain some decent experience. I think this took me from Slayer level 17 to 25. The next task I got was just as bad, and it was 72 Desert Lizards. Now, the annoying thing about these is that you can't actually cancel it, because if you go to the Noob Slayer Master in Birthorp, he offers the same task, so you pretty much just have to gut it out. Uh, I asked Alkin about this task, and he actually said there was a pretty good spot where you can get this task done in 15 to 20 minutes, because all the all the Desert Lizards are level 12. So I finished this task pretty quickly, and uh, there wasn't anything really special about this one, but I did get a white Mystic Glove drop. I'm not sure how much these are worth, but uh, it was better than nothing. After all that, I went back to woodcutting to make some money because I didn't get too many good tasks, but the couple that I did get were basically mage tasks, so I got like, um, I want to say like 80-something ice warriors, and I used uh, a little over a thousand chaos runes for that as well. So it's actually pretty expensive because none of these really give amazing drops, so um, all in all, I ended up with 31 slayer, as you can see over here. And um, yeah, I made some pretty good gains in my last video, so you can see I went from 40 to 52 strength. I gained 17 magic levels from 30 to 47, uh, 19 herb lore from level 9. A couple HP levels, I don't know exactly. Um, see, level 9 Slayer is what I started with, so I gained 22 Slayer levels. So all in all, not too bad. Um, can't really complain. I want to start getting a, a little more money because I really need to use magic for most of these Slayer tasks because one defense just absolutely sucks for uh, for pretty much doing anything involving Slayer. And it kind of almost makes me want to uh, want to unpure my character, although I'll probably do that later. But uh, I just forgot how much I actually enjoy doing Slayer. It's been so long. I mean, uh, I was talking to Alkin about this um, the other day. And I went from level 81 to 89 Slayer on EOC, strictly using, uh, like, lamps, spins, or whatever I got for free, or, you know, completing the diaries and tasks and stuff. And it kind of devalues it so badly. I mean, I have 89 Slayer on EOC, and I never killed an Abyssal Demon. Think about how ridiculous that is. <laughs> anyway, guys, just showing you my progress. So you can see that I gained... Uh, Almost 100 levels since my last video. Maybe, uh, I want to say maybe like 85 or so. So yeah, pretty solid progress. Um, but yeah, that's about it for this video, guys. And uh, I'm just going to really try to make some more money. And hopefully I can get some more Slayer done. And definitely want to get my strength up really soon. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys all soon. Take it easy, guys.